Hi there, I'm Charlie and I'm coming to you today from my Locals community with your daily dose of business inspiration. Come on over and join me at askcharlielatham.locals.com and follow along or become a supporter to join the conversation. To be a supporter is just $2 US per month. It's really less than a cup of coffee. That ensures that we aren't hit by spammers and trolls. It also helps me to keep creating content like this, like my podcast, like my tutorials, and anything else I feel like putting up as I go along. I really hope you're finding the content useful as well. Now, if I'm looking a little different today, um, my lighting might be a bit off, uh, my angle might be a little bit off. I'm actually um, in my little camper van and I'm heading off very soon to uh, head around Australia and work my way around Australia doing exactly what I'm doing today just in different locations so I'm a bit excited still trying to get a couple of the things sorted out as I go but anyway today's the first day that I'm actually recording in my van so please bear with me if it's um, not great it will get better as I go along and work out what I need Alrighty, so let's get on with our daily dose of business inspiration. Today, I wanted to talk about why you should be sending people to your website and not just relying on social media. Now, in one of the podcasts I've got coming up, uh, one of my guests actually talk about it. But if you go back through my content, you'll find that uh, I've been a strong proponent of not just relying on social media to um, have uh, to have your business presence don't just have a Facebook page and a Facebook store and an Instagram page and an Instagram store or whatever you're doing on TikTok or LinkedIn or whatever else you're on um, you really need to have somewhere that is your space that you own that you set the rules for now that's probably the most important part of that you set the rules for my biggest thing with social media yeah it's free it's great right generally it's free or if if it's not free, the costs are generally low. Um, but my biggest thing is that they set the rules. They decide what you can and can't do. They decide at a drop of a hat that something is no longer valid and you've just lost an entire arm of your business. We've seen that happen with businesses when uh, Facebook Meta, Facebook at the time, decided it was going to change its algorithms and how it promoted pages and businesses just lost eyeballs on their offers so quickly. It was amazing. Uh, it was overnight. They just People just didn't see their stuff anymore because Meta decided that pages weren't going to appear in this one type of feed, which is the type of feed everyone was using. Uh, but if they change their mind that they also don't want a particular type of content on their website, oh, sorry, on their, their site, not their website, it might be something that is completely innocuous, but someone decides somewhere that no longer we're going to allow this. If your business is doing that, even if you've been following all the rules, they will shut your business down without a second thought. I don't know if you guys have tried to go through any of the dispute processes on the Meta, Meta platform particularly, but other platforms as well. They're horrendous. You are lucky to get a response if you get a response. And often the response is, you breached our, our terms of service. Here's a link to our terms of service. No idea what it was you did, just that you did it. So. Is this how you want to run your business? Is this how you want to keep uh, communicating with your clients? What happens, as happened yesterday, because uh, I only found about, out about this because I was off doing things yesterday, that you can't log into uh, Meta because of an authentication issue. Or, as happened last year, Facebook goes down for 24 hours and you don't have anything happening. You, you can't get onto Facebook. It's not up. Your clients can't get onto Facebook and they don't know how to contact you. They wanted to make a purchase that day, but they don't know how to contact you. What you need to be doing, okay, that's a long way of saying things. That's a long, long explanation as to why I'm so passionate about it. And you can see I'm pretty passionate about it. I have actually been hit by it on other platforms, not Facebook, but on another platform. Um, so what you should be doing is engaging with people 
on your social media, but always have them coming back to your website or always try to get them back to your website. And on your website, you need to have a lead capture process. You need to have something and go back through my um, videos that I've just posted over the last couple of days. You need to have something that you offer them that is of value to your client or to your poten pot potential, not potential, potential customer that so that is of value to your potential customer for their name and email address. It's got to be something that you they would be happy to pay for. Normally would be preferable uh, and you're going to give it to them for free so that you get them on your mailing list and you can just keep them warm and keep them coming back. So if you do happen to decide that you're leaving a platform, unusual that people do it, but some people do, or if the platform decides that you can no longer do that type of business on their platform, you can get in touch with your clients and say, hey, we're no longer here. You can make that, have, tell them however you want them to, to, to tell them that. But come across here. Uh, I've got some great deals for you uh, as clients from uh, this particular platform. Just put this code on or even if you didn't want to do a code or even if you didn't want to give them anything special, just you you can keep in touch with them. You can nurture them. You can keep them coming back to your website and doing what you want. You own that website. Uh, it's your hosting account. I'm going to cover that in another one, actually, um, what you need to watch out for with your hosting accounts. Uh, and it's what, what you do on that website as long as it's legal and not breaking any laws, is uh, what you want to do whenever you want to do it. Uh, so make sure that when you're marketing on your social media, you've always got a call to action that brings them back to your website or nine times out of 10, brings them back to your website and lets and tries to capture their email address and their name so that you can continue talking to them if the worst things happen. All right, guys, that was a very long one today. Uh, I hope it was useful to you. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think about all of that. Let me know how you handle it. Let me know how you do lead capture. You can do lead capture from social media. Absolutely. There are some rules around it. I would love to know how you're handling it. And if you're watching this on a platform that allows you to give reviews or likes, give me some likes, um, give me some reviews. Uh, they all help the algorithm in getting my content out there further. And of course, if you know someone who's finding this content useful, share it with them or who might find this content useful, share it with them as well. I'd love to be able to talk to them too. All right, guys, you have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow.